Hello my fellow outlaws, welcome to another new video. Before we begin, I want to apologize for the recent lack in content. Not only has the holiday season been hectic as usual, but also this video faced many delays in the technical department. Such errors will be discussed later on, but in the meantime, let's just jump into it. Similar to the gang horse method, first we need to acquire a horse that we're willing to swap with. For this video, we're going to use this beautiful Hungarian halfbred. The next thing we need to do is put your save onto your USB drive. All you need to do is go into the settings of your PS4, then scroll down to Save Data Management. After that, go to Copy to USB Storage Device. With that done, it's time to move on to our computer. Once on your computer, you need to go to this website. On the website, look for the model tag of your designated horse. For this example, we need the dapple gray Hungarian halfbred. The next step is to copy the model tag. Now scroll up to the hash generator, which is located under the wiki tab. Paste the model tag into the hash generator. When the model tag is hashed, the generator will give you a hex code. This hex code is what we will use in our save wizard. Once you've copied the hex code, open up save wizard. For this next step, we will need advanced mode, which unfortunately only comes in the $60 version of Save Wizard. With the save open, go up to the looking glass in the top right corner. This is the search option. In the search option, paste the hex code you got from the website. Press the find option to find your swap out horse. Make sure that hex is selected off to the right. Before we continue, we need to repeat the exact same process, but this time for your desired online horse. For this example, I will be using the Black Clodrooper horse. At the time of making this video, I had to manually type in the model tag. Once the online model tag is hashed, we need to go back to Save Wizard. By using the search engine, you will find two hex codes for your swap horse. The one you are going to replace is the one that is attached to your horse's name. So for this case, my horse's name is Roman so I want to replace the code that is attached to his name. With the code swapped, all that's left to do is press apply. Now, back to our PS4. Like earlier, go back down to Application Save Data Management. This time, however, go down to Save Data on USB Storage Device. Select your altered save, and then press copy. If you get this message, select yes. Now it's time to boot up Red Dead. Keep in mind when you first enter the game, your autosave will load. Even if you don't have autosave on, your save still needs to be refreshed to allow the alterations to show up. When you load into the altered save, your horse should be swapped out. Unlike gang horses, you can actually bring online horses into your stable and customize them. However, when you enter a stable on an online horse, the manage horse option will not be available to you. This means that you cannot swap out horses while being on an online horse. Thankfully, there's a fix for this, which we will go over later. With online horses, you can come into the stable and change their name at any time. Another pro to online horses is that the bonding animations will unlock as you progress throughout the bonding with your horse. Now that we've covered the good things, it's unfortunately time to move on to the bugs and the issues with online horses in story mode. Like I mentioned earlier, while riding an online horse, you cannot change out horses in the stable. Thankfully, there's a fix for this by using the horse station at your camp. Probably the worst bug of all is the fact that the most recent online horses do not work in story mode. For this example, we are replacing the Bay Roan Arden for a Norfolk Roadster. 
as you can see, instead of a beautiful glistening buckskin coat, we get an invisible horse. The eyes, mane, tail, and teeth will spawn in, but unfortunately the coat color will not. Which means your horse will look something like this. <laughs> But in all seriousness, it really is unfortunate that the new online horses do not work with the model swap. Here is a list of the horses that do work in story mode. In a more optimistic sense, I guess this is the closest we'll ever get to an undead horse in Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm looking at you, Rockstar. Moving on from that tangent. One good thing about these pseudo horses is the fact that they act just like regular horses, which means you can bond with them and you can also unlock the bonding animations that come with them and you can also bring them into the stable, but they will act just like an online horse where you can't swap them out manually from the stable. The last bug is actually quite strange. For some reason, the top tier horses would spawn in completely black instead of their actual coat color. As you can see here, this is actually supposed to be the gray Clodrooper horse, but instead it was spawned in as completely black. Thankfully, this appears to have been fixed with the most recent update to the game. So for those of you who haven't updated your game in a while, you might experience the same issue. Anyway, cowpokes, that wraps up another video. Happy holidays and have fun.